brought to you by the Every Dollar app. Start budgeting for free today. Jacob is with us in Macon, Georgia. Hi, Jacob. Welcome to the Ramsey Show. Hey, Dave. How you doing? Better than I deserve. What's up? Well, I went a little bit crazy last year. Um, me and my wife jumped on a journey to pay down as much debt as possible. We paid off $240,000 last year. Way to go. But um, I also spent everything I had in my savings, everything that we had made together. I mean, I, I unloaded just about everything into it. We still got uh, $14,000, you know, between savings and checkings. I got $5,000 in cash. Um, but I need a tractor to be able to take care of my property. And I know you are uh, 100% against, you know, any kind of financing, but a new tractor these days between you know, fifty and 60000 be able to have the right size to do, you know, my property. Um, so I don't know, you know, is financing okay, especially at 0% for 60, 60 months or... Yeah, I'm uh, so you went crazy getting out of debt and yes, you <laughs> know that we tell people not to borrow money and you called here wanting to finance a tractor. I, I just don't know. I, I, like I said, I think I kind of put myself into a boat. You know, my property is going to up taking over. Like what said, what, what, what do you make through. a year? Uh, last year we made 210000 um, mm-hmm. I am laid off from my job. Um, and so I'm, you know, going off of my wife's, uh, income at the moment and she's a women's health nurse practitioner. So what she's does she make? 100, 120. Okay. And so when are you going back to work? Um, we're not sure yet. Um, no, I mean, you're not looking not for yet. another job. You're waiting on them. Um, uh, we kind of are making the decision at the moment as to whether I'm going to be a stay-at-home dad to homeschool our two girls because we're not exactly too fond of the um, school systems. Um, so we're kind of in, in between at this point. She's, we're both talking about, um, you know, getting some cattle and, you know, just making some money off of the farm since we've already got the property. How much of acreage um, do you have? 42 and a half acres. Does not take a sixty-two thousand dollar tractor to take care of forty-two acres, dude. Seriously, yeah. it's not that big a spread. Okay, you know that, and you can't afford it. You don't have the money, so um, okay. and you're not making a living on the forty-two acres. You may have a few cattle, but you don't even need a tractor for cattle. Have somebody run a bush mm-hmm. hog over there every so often or something, maybe, but. Um, especially if you're going to decide to stay at home, uh, Mm -hmm. and cut your income almost in half. Right. Why don't you go back to your, to, to your old career, even if it's not with the company that laid you off? Um, kind of the, uh, as much as I'd like to, we're looking at the well being of taking care of our children. What were they doing while you were working? Uh, well, me and my wife are four states away from each other, and uh, you're four states away from each other. Well, that's an yes, interesting sir, piece of information. We, halfway through the conversation, we we, uh, we did something crazy. We went all out to pay off as much debt as humanly possible. To where, I mean, we paid down the house halfway, and uh, all other debt is gone. So you're so, there. Where is she? Uh, she's in Georgia. We're both in Georgia now. She's back to Macon. Yes, that, that's where she's been. I went to Ohio to uh, work construction. Oh, I see. And that's what you got laid off from? Yes, sir. I see. Okay. So not only do you not want to be, uh, you're, you're not only worried about the kids in school, but you're also worried about being away from your family all the time. That's fair. That's a lot, that's a lot better plan. Okay. Uh, I mean, you could, but, but you might not make as much as you used to make if you work construction in your area, right? Yes, sir. Uh, it'd be cut down to, uh, between 50 to 60,000. Yeah. So what do you owe on your, what do you, how much, the only debt you have left is your property? Yes, sir. Uh, we owe, uh, 200 and 
sixty thousand. Wow. So you paid off other stuff then, not that. Uh, she, it, uh, the house was uh, almost half a million dollars, and then I paid off her car also. And then my other house in Kentucky is paid off. What's the house in Kentucky? Uh, it's one that I bought while I was going to school. Um, it was something I bought online. What's it worth? I did 200 to 220 Sell it and pay off your house and buy a tractor. Why do you have a house in Kentucky? You didn't set out to do that. You ended up with it from back in the day. If you didn't own it That's right now, true. you wouldn't write a check for $200,000 to buy a house in Kentucky, Tennessee, or Arkansas. Right. It's very random in your life now. I understand how you got there, but I would sell it and pay off your mortgage and use your fabulous fact that you have no payments in the world to save up and pay cash for a used tractor. Not 60, maybe 30, but pay for it. Okay. Oh, the house. You're Why do you want to hang on to this house? You're not going to do that, are you? Uh, no, I've got some attachment. Uh, we've talked about for the last year, so I've got um, I've got one hundred and thirty to one hundred fifty thousand dollars equity in it. Who cares? Sell it. Do you care more about your kids or this random house? Why? Are, what are you attached to a house in Kentucky for? <laughs> I had it for going to Bible college. <laughs> Who okay. cares? Jesus didn't live there. Take a picture and put it on the wall. Right. Yeah. I mean, it's 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 not an heirloom. It's a house. It's not your great grandfather's Bible. It's a house. Nah, I mean, dude, really? Okay, I I don't think I can help you, man. But that's what I would do if I woke up in your shoes. I would sell the house in Kentucky, and I would solve a lot of my problems by doing that and get the house that you're living in paid off. I think I heard you could pay it off. I thought it was paid for, and then I thought he said he owed 130. So now I'm confused. But I kept learning new facts along I, the way. This whole thing unfolded. In, but you kept saying we keep doing. We did this crazy thing. We did this crazy call, thing. Call was an accordion, but um, I think the craziest thing is to keep this house when you have this dream to run this property and homeschool the kids, and yet you're hanging on to this property that could get you free. Of, you got you got too many conflicting priorities, and so we need to decide what it is we really want in this life, and give up a bunch of the other stuff to get what you really want. And if you really want to be home with the kids, great. If that's really what's driving this, I think you really want to be off the road. And I think you won't play gentleman farmer. That's what I think. And I think you're blaming your kids. So I'm going to be real hard on you now. But um, um, that's okay. And by the way, 42 acres is a gentleman farmer. That's not a, That's not somebody making a living. So um, uh, anyway, yeah, you do what you want to do. But uh, if I were in your shoes, I would get a job in construction, and I would sell the house in Kentucky, and I would buy a used tractor for cash, and I would pay off my house. That's what I would do. You're going to do what you're going to do. But thanks for calling. Appreciate you Interesting being Interesting story, at the very least. A lot going on yeah, there. Yeah. Moral of the story, too, is if you move four states away temporarily and take a high-end, you know, high-paying construction job, if you're willing to sacrifice being away from your family, which he did for a short period of time there, you can make a ton of money. And that's what he did. And I don't recommend that for a way of life, but I do appreciate Jacob's work ethic. Oh, yeah. Being willing to go do that for a short period of time to accomplish some of the goals. He just got stuff out of line in the, in the, in the process. And, um, th then when he suddenly got sent home, I, I think it threw him into a tizzy. Yeah. This might be kind of a midlife crisis situation trying to figure out what's next, but yeah. hope he yeah. figures it out soon. Absolutely. We gave him the plan. Thank you, Jacob. Create your free every dollar budget today. The simplest way to budget for your life.